Also today here in Parliament, uh, well, more pressure on the Liberal MP Gladys Liu from Labor over her fundraising activities. Uh, in fact, they've broadened the attack beyond Gladys Liu to other Liberals as well and their fundraising activities. Today, the High Court also announced that uh, a challenge to the election of Gladys Liu in Chisholm and Josh Frydenberg, the Treasurer, in his seat of Kooyong, will now be heard in the Federal Court. This is all about campaign signs that were used at the polling booths on Election Day, telling voters in Chinese that the right way to vote was to put one next to the Liberal candidate. The challenge has come not from Labor, but from Oliver Yates. He was a failed independent candidate who stood against uh, Josh Frydenberg. He says these were misleading and deceiving signs. That will now be a matter heard in the Federal Court. Political reporter Eliza Edwards has more. They're the campaign signs causing controversy for Josh Frydenberg and Gladys Liu four months on from polling day. The Liberal MPs for Kuyong and Chisholm are accused of flouting electoral laws by using the AEC's colours of purple and white on posters written in Mandarin, telling Mandarin-speaking voters of Chinese background the right way to vote is putting a one next to the Liberal candidate. After a hearing in the High Court, the case will now go to trial in the Federal Court in Melbourne as the government faces another battle over Miss Liu's links to Chinese Communist Party-backed organisations and the alleged improper disclosure of donations. Finance Minister Matthias Cormann was forced to make a statement of support for the first-time MP in Parliament. The member for Chisholm is a strong advocate for her constituents and a valued member of our team in this Parliament. She has the government's full support. The brief statement, set aside for 20 minutes but delivered for all of 90 seconds, infuriated Labor. Senator Cormann again refusing to assure the Senate that the member for Chisholm is a fit and proper person to be in this place. In fact, he refused to talk about anything at all. In the face of condemnation from Labor, the Prime Minister has won support from an unlikely source, the Chinese media, an editorial from the Global Times, a key mouthpiece of the Communist Party, claims scrutiny of Miss Liu is part of a wave of paranoid hysteria directed at Beijing. Its writer praises Mr Morrison for clear reason and judgement in defending a Liberal MP accused of showing anything but that. Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra.